ओके सो नो क्वेश्चन कमिंग इन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस ये पोल पर ही क्यों होता है सिर्फ पोल ही नहीं द प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट ओनली पोल प्रॉब्लम इज अ सीजन ऑल्सो इट हैपन्स इन द स्प्रिंग सीजन इन्हें नहीं पता इट हैपन्स ओनली ऑन द पोल्स एंड इट हैपन्स ओनली ऑन द स्प्रिंग सीजन पोल्स स्प्रिंग सीजन पीपल हु डू नॉट नो वट इज स्प्रिंग सीजन द सीजन दैट हैज जस्ट कम आफ्टर विंटर्स इंडिया में स्प्रिंग खत्म हो रहा है अब क्या आ रहा है समर आ रहा है so the season just after winters is called spring season so why is it happening at the poles so everyone pay attention very very important thing ye do wajah se ho raha hai two things get that one is uh i should say uh, geographic or atmospheric and second is human activities let us understand this this is a little bit of understanding a little bit of technical part so ye arth le lete hain and this is arth this is arth get that now this is equator this is arctic region and this is antarctic region so first of all we need chlorofluorocarbons what are they those are man made chemicals man made chemicals so where are they being released they are being released where people are living kidhar reh rahe ya to tropical area ya temperate area these are cc chlorofluorocarbons do we get that now the problem is not in these areas the problem is at poles so we need to understand first of all how did they go over there how did they go to the poles so i hope you remember the tricellular circulation model and this is the headley cell remember headley cell this is the feral cell and this is the polar cell remember three cells so what is happening is that whatever this c is there if the c is released here the c will go up in the upper atmosphere and it will come here and this is how c has reached everywhere so c may be anywhere c may be released anywhere but it can reach the whole world is everyone okay up to this point in time chali what is uh, where is this circulation happening if you remember this circulation happens in the troposphere so what is this line this is tropopause this is what tropo pause everyone so in the tropopause the chlorofluorocarbons are reaching everywhere so will they and where is uh, ozone this is ozone now this is why people get a nobel prize why right? pure research lag rahi isme first of all chlorofluorocarbons can travel into the entire atmosphere but the problem is they can travel only up to tropopause remember troposphere is called the weather sphere all weather events happen only in the troposphere to where is the maximum kahan tak pahunch sakta hai chlorofluorocarbon tropopause it cannot reach the ozone so question number 1 how will it impact the ozone how will it impact the ओजोन ये क्या है ये आपका स्ट्रेटोपॉज है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट शुड नॉट इंपैक्ट द ओजोन ओजोन तक पहुंचेगा ही नहीं दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम सो बिगर प्रॉब्लम इज वेयर आर क्लोरोफ्लोरोकार्बन कमिंग दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द ट्रॉपिकल एंड टेम्परेट बेल्ट दे आर टेकन टू द पोल्स बट ओजोन तक वो नहीं जाएगा ओजोन अपना ही नेचुरल थिकिंग एंड थिकनिंग एंड थिनिंग इज हैपनिंग but on poles something very interesting happens something very very interesting happens i want to tell you that in the winters which season winter season if you remember this belt is the trade wind belt 
this belt is the westerly belt. Westerlies become very strong. Westerlies become very strong in winter. Remember, I was talking about roaring uh, furious 40s, roaring 50s and uh, shrieking 60s. Very, very strong. So, what happens is, the entire troposphere around the pole gets cut off because of these strong winds. Do we get that? Westerlies become very strong and they cut off the polar air mass from rest of world. Remember these three cells which were created, one, two, three, what are they doing? They are circulating everywhere. But now what is happening? It is cut off. So, whatever sea is there, where is it? It is trapped. But trapped where? In the troposphere. It is trapped only in the troposphere. Now comes a very, very interesting thing. Remember this is what? This is troposphere. This is troposphere and this is what? Stratosphere. I told you atmospheric phenomena happen only up to troposphere. There is a famous question why aeroplane pilot flies above tropopause and the answer is because above tropopause there is no cloud formation. Cloud formation happens only in the troposphere. Stratosphere does not have clouds, absolutely okay. But I want to tell you, in the polar areas, this area becomes extremely cold, extremely cold and nitric acid based frozen clouds are created. What is created? on the poles. If the winter is very much like this, then what will happen? These are called SSC, Special Stratospheric Clouds. Not normally. Kis se bane? Nitric acid se. SSC. Does everyone get that? In the winters, what is happening? These are trapped, chlorofluorocarbons are trapped. Why are they trapped? Because the tricellular air circulation is stopped, because it is very, very strong winds. It is very, very strong winds. If you remember a polar front is created, remember a polar front is created in between these two. If you remember this, this is called the polar front when I was talking about the planetary circulation in between these winds which are coming from 30 degrees and 60 degrees when this air is forced to rise a polar front. So, this polar front does what? It acts as a wall. It acts as a wall around the polar area. Do we get that? So, what has happened? Polar area has a wall all around it and above that wall what has been created? Special crowds stratospheric cloud. On the base of these clouds, because these clouds are heavy, on the base of these clouds in the winters, the chlorofluorocarbon will stick. On the base of these clouds during the winter, the chlorofluorocarbons will stick. When the winter is over, when the winter is over, what will happen? Spring season will come and these clouds will start rising because they are becoming, its temperature is increasing, they start rising and they dissolve, disappear. But in the process, what they have done? They have transferred these chlorofluorocarbons to the ozone layer. Once the chlorofluorocarbons reach the ozone layer, they will attack. Now remember, which season we were talking about? Winter. In winter, no sun, so no ozone formation. 
that means already the layer is thin already the layer is thin and add to it you have the attack of chlorofluorocarbons the layer is naturally thin in the winter the ozone was not forming and what you've done added to it you have introduced these chlorofluorocarbons and i want to tell you they have a long life span once a chlorine molecule reaches over there it will stay there for a very very long time and it will destroy millions of ozone molecules and oxygen molecules this is where already jab mar padi hui hai lack of photo uh, chemical reaction the ozone has already thickened on top of that you add these chlorofluorocarbons they attack it further and a point might come that the entire ozone is missing that is called ozone hole recently in february 2020 the ozone hole which was seen over the arctic region was because of this abnormal winter which was experienced in the northern hemisphere the colder the winter is the chances of these stratospheric clouds special stratospheric clouds being created some books you will write them you will see their name written as psc rather than ssc polar stratospheric clouds they mean the same don't unnecessarily get into the jargon polar stratospheric cloud or stra uh, special stratospheric cloud not created normally because of that nitric acid over there frozen ones they are created and at the base of these clouds the chlorofluorocarbons they will stick and as a result the ozone is going to be impacted so the layer is already thinned because of the winter and add to it you introduce those agents radicals and they will eat into it and this is the normal layer in the winters it was like this and in the spring it goes further down and a point might come that it vanishes because southern hemisphere has stronger westerlies remember westerlies are always stronger than uh, northern hemisphere so it is more common that the ozone hole forms in the southern hemisphere because there the westerlies are able to block everything around the poles that is also called a polar vortex students who attended my classes on jet stream or on it environment i talked about that circulation the jet streams are around the pole so jet streams are stopping the air from rest of the latitude to enter the polar areas this is the polar area and the westerlies also are so strong that they are not allowing the rest of the atmosphere to get mixed up and dilute those chlorofluorocarbons so those chlorofluorocarbons have been taken to the top of the tropopause where the stratospheric clouds will form especially when the winter is extremely cold and they will stick to it when the winter goes these clouds will dissipate and vanish but in the process they have taken those chlorofluorocarbons on top and once that chlorine breaks it is ready to attack the rest of it so this is the science of it this is why it happens only in poles this is why it happens only in the spring season it happened in the northern hemisphere this year it happened in the northern hemisphere this year uh because as i told you scientists if you read any book they will say that it was extremely cold and because of that stratospheric phenomena happened so ek to environment hai the formation of a polar vortex formation of this uh, polar front very strong strong winds which will not allow mixing to happen second thing is human beings are emitting these human beings are emitting this so we had no control over these factors that we can't stop the westerlies we can't stop the polar vortex we can't change the temperature of the winter what we can manage is we can manage stopping the release so as a result montreal protocol talked about stopping the release so i have to end the class it's been very long and my family is waiting they also have a, a lot of uh, things to do i think it's the lunch time